calls for a ceasefire overseas dominated a public meeting tonight in Raleigh. Good evening, I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Rod Carter, glad you could join us tonight. Dozens of people showed up wanting the city to push for a ceasefire in Gaza. CBS 17's Lillian Donahue is live for us tonight in Raleigh. And Lillian, some of the speakers had less time to talk than they initially thought. Yeah, usually you have around three minutes, but this, because of how many people signed up, they only had one minute to speak. And despite that one minute per person, those dozens of folks, they took up two hours of debate. More than 100 people signed up Tuesday night, the majority urging Raleigh leaders to introduce a resolution supporting a ceasefire in Gaza. We will not quit. We will not tire out. You refuse to speak up for us. You refuse to acknowledge our pain. Others spoke out against the city picking a side. This is not a foreign policy body. This is the Raleigh City Council. Those four resolutions say the city's taken stances on otherworldly events, some sharing shattering personal losses from the war. My cousin Sumaya and her two children were killed. They had found Sumaya dead while holding her baby in her lap. Members of the Israeli community worry that a resolution would increase anti-Semitic acts on the rise. My synagogue has been terrorized by bomb threats, and after Hamas declared a day of rage against Jews across the world, members of my community entered a state of panic. Many speakers and some city council members expressed frustration over the shorter public speaking time. After two hours, the public comment ended. <laughs> Council members Mary Black and Christina Jones stayed to continue listening to concerns. This is something that I listen to each one of you come up and speak, and it breaks my heart. And I'm so sorry that we are going through this. And this certainly isn't the first time this has happened. Many of the folks that spoke tonight have been consistently going to city council meetings, trying to advocate 